What's going on everybody? We're back with our Wednesday routine. I'm gonna hit a couple thrift stores and then head off to my favorite auction. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name's Justin, I'm a full-time reseller. I go to like auctions, yard sales, estate sales, things like that, and I find things to flip online. I sell mostly on eBay, but a little bit on Mercari and some on Amazon. But today we're heading off to the thrift stores and the auction to see what kind of stuff we can get to flip on eBay. I'll bring you guys along and at the end, I'll show you what I got, let you know what I think I can sell it for and kind of like what my overall profit will be estimated. much in there today but i found this cool vintage shirt sleeveless ford cool graphics it was only 50 cents and i saw sold comps on these for around like 20 to 50 dollars depending on uh the graphic on the front most of the ones going for 50 were harley davidson so this one's probably worth like closer to 25 dollars not bad for 50 cents cool shirt and then i picked up this random like uh, the company that makes it is Kim Lai. It's 100% silk, but it has this cool like dragon on the back. There's one of these listed for 55 plus shipping. So I'll probably list this for like 45 plus shipping and I paid uh, four bucks. Now we just pulled up to this Goodwill. They're gonna open in about 10 minutes. So we're gonna go in here right when they open and see if we can find some good stuff. So I got a few things, but we're in a hurry. So I threw everything in the car. We're heading off to the auction. And then when I show you guys the stuff we got at the auction, I'll show you guys what we picked up at Goodwill before that. I got some of the stuff from the auction pulled out here on the table. I got a few more items in the car I'll pull out a little bit later and show you guys. I got this Hammerlin HQ100A. I'm not even sure exactly what it is, but I looked it up by the name and model and wanted recently sold for parts for $250. I ended up paying $100 for it because other resellers knew that it had a lot of value. And this one was said to work at the auction, so I'm thinking it should be worth around $300. I got these three Magnolite pots they're like cast iron with the metal lid like really heavy duty this one is the 20 inch right here this one right here by itself will sell for 130 to 150 dollars i paid 55 dollars for all three so with the buyer's premium i paid about 60 dollars but i should be able to get about 220 to 250 dollars out of those three pieces i got the jvc boom box for 30 dollars uh, it's got a sticker on it that says it works. It obviously shows a lot of use. These are selling for about 175 in like really good condition. So since ours is a little beat and shows signs of wear and the screen's got like a little dent in it right here. So I'm thinking that one's probably worth about 125 plus shipping. Now I got these clocks, they were thrown in with something else I bought. So they are vintage. It might be a decent little lot that could be worth. There's a West Clocks Big Ben. You know, I might be able to get like 35 or 40 bucks for those clocks. And they were just thrown in for free with something. I bought these two cruise ships. I've actually sold these before. And they usually sell well. Like, uh, there's this from Celebrity X Cruises. And there's two different ships here. But I should get about 35 to $50 per ship. And I only paid $10 for the whole flat. Plus, I got these two knives. I don't think they're anything really special, but I should be able to maybe get like 30 bucks for the two of those because they are a little bit unique and a collector would probably like to have those. I paid $35 for these four cameras, but these Canon AE-1s are like highly desirable. So we have the AE-1 and the AE-1 program. These two cameras I could probably sell together for like 40 bucks. They don't have much value. But this camera right here is worth 100 to $200. 
And then the A1 program is like 120 to $200. And I only paid $35 for all three. And I'm, I'm guaranteed to get $200 out of those two cameras. So that was a really good pickup. This little floral arrangement, I think it's made by Capa de Monte. It came with the cruise ships that I wanted. So I'm not sure. I mean, this one has a couple chips and stuff. And I've had these listed before and they didn't really sell. So I'm probably just going to end up putting that with my yard sale stuff. I paid $45 for this flat of BB guns. Now these ones aren't that great. These like Taurus and Ruger ones. I could probably sell these two together for like 40 bucks or something like that. This is just a cheap airsoft pistol. I might even just, well, it doesn't even have a clip. If I have the clip, I might just take this one home. But this was the main reason I bought the box. This is a BB gun pellet pistol and it's uh, the brand is Benjamin Franklin. And whenever you see these old BB guns, always look them up. They always have some information on here, the good ones do anyway, to give you some keywords to look them up or model numbers. But I've sold so many of these old BB guns for over $100. And this one, for instance, I should be able to get like $120 to $150 for. Really cool piece. These are the Jordans. I actually paid $120 for these shoes. You ready? Boom. Retro fours, never worn, Carolina blue. These sneakers will sell for $300 to $450. Our box is a little beat, so we don't have a perfect box, but the shoes are perfect. So with any luck, we'll be able to get uh, close to $400 out of those. I've sold a few of these. This is called CM, S-I-A-M, Thailand flatware. This is a 142 piece set. This is like about as big as they get. So you can see this thing is filled, but it also has these trays right here. So we got top, middle, and bottom. As you can see, there's the top tray. So we have a whole other tray of flatware there. And then this tray slides out and there's a whole nother tray in the bottom. So it's a triple decker flatware set. But I have sold these before. They usually sell for 100 to $150 plus shipping and I only paid $25 for this set. So before I pull the rest of that stuff out of the truck, I do have some packaging to do. So I just wanna show you guys the stuff that sold over the past couple days so you can see stuff that's actually selling on eBay. I sold this vintage Sunbeam thermometer, the rifle rest bag, this sold for 60, I paid 20. This was from the big card collection, that sold for 60 bucks plus shipping. I had this sitting around for a while, sold it for $202. Got an old vintage watch, sold for $47. Some flatware, I think I sold that for like $25, $30. Bucks. This plate that I got with some stuff at the auction, sold for $20. Bucks. Uh, old TaylorMade Club, sold for $27. That's a lot of bank bags in there. This is from the big train lot. This is just a lot of various stuff, sold for $50. This is all again from the card collection that sold for 250 bucks. Sold this knife I picked up at the auction last week that sold for 30. Sold a printer for 50. This little book sold for 53. That was a pretty cool sale. Another lot of bank bags. Sold the Mark Gonzalez board for 150 plus shipping. We sold the Rocket Power Jump Starter for $60 plus shipping. And the Doggy Couture Dog Bowl sold for $70 free shipping. And the funny thing about those is in the last video at the uh, trunk sale hall, I said that I should, probably shouldn't have bought these in hindsight. Like I almost had buyer's remorse, but not so much now. And the other ones I listed for $70 and they got a bunch of watchers. So that'll end up being a really good investment. Uh, I sold the SOG knife for $56 plus shipping. And the last thing we sold was this pipe holder with the Eagle Lid tobacco jar and that's all for 35 plus shipping and I only paid 10 for that. So yeah, that was the stuff that just sold over the past couple days. The total sales price on that stuff was $1,700 and I only paid $300 for that inventory. So I made well over $1,000 in two days. And as you can see, none of that stuff was extra spe special. The most expensive thing sold for like $150. It really just shows you that it's a volume game. It's me sourcing, 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 and listing, listing, listing to be able to sell 20 items in two days and make a thousand bucks in a couple of days. The only way I'm able to do that is just pounding the pavement, staying vigilant, trusting the process, and doing the right things on eBay as far as like, 
promoting, lowering prices, getting good quality inventory, running promotions, running markdown sales, sending out offers, all these things combined creates a well-oiled machine that just runs like this and it's basically a money printer. But I just wanna let you guys know how that all added up and back to your regular scheduled program. All right, here's the last few things we picked up at the auction. I got these Bose speakers for $20. When I looked up this model, it's actually selling for like $250 to $400. So I think I'll easily get $250 out of those amazingly for a $20 investment. I paid $40 for the big boom box thing. That should sell for about $150 plus shipping. I've shipped out a bunch of these. What I normally do is I'll put this in a box by itself and then I'll put these two speakers in a, di in a different box and then I'll ship two boxes to the buyer. That's a really nice Panasonic receiver. Pick this one up for $60 and I think it's worth $150 plus shipping all day. They said at the auction it works. We'll give it a good test, make sure everything checks out, but it should be a $150 bill easy. I got the projector for $10 and it came with the clock lot you saw earlier. I got this Beetle Sirius, Sirius, Sirius cell. Sorry, that's hard to say. But these are selling for maybe like 50 bucks. I only paid $15 for it. I just thought it was an interesting piece, but we'll see what happens. Uh, this is the top piece to this TAC reel to reel. I got this for $35. It looks like it's gonna probably be sold for parts, but even for parts, it's probably a $100 bill. If we test it and it works, it's probably worth about 140, 250. And this is a little projector that I got for $5. Um, these are selling for like around 50 or 60 bucks, but that's everything we got at the auction. So everything we picked up at the auction was $693 total. All that stuff should gross resell for $2,400 before fees and everything. So we'll almost quadruple our money before fees and shipping and all those things that do add up. But we're gonna make really good money on that stuff. This is what's good about sourcing during the summer. It's slimmer pickings and there's not as much out there, but you can get way better deals with way higher profit margins. You just gotta pound the pavement and hit more yard sales, estate sales and auctions and be out there sweating it out in the Florida heat to get these kind of deals. But we're gonna make a lot of money off this stuff. It was all in all a successful trip as usual. I'm glad you guys could come along and see the things we got. Until next time, peace.